News shooter coverage of IBC 2025 is sponsored by B&H. Hi, it's Matt here for newshooter.com at IBC 2025 I'm with Kinson from Zcam. Now, this is your new Easy Play, which is a remote uh, slow motion replay system right. that's very affordable. Tell me about it. Yes, um, this is actually right now already deployed. At, I mean, for those who are interested in the English Premier League, I mean, um, every single goal and whenever there's a slow motion playback, they are captured on the Zcam with the Easy Play. The reason why we introduced the Easy Play is because um, Instead of using the camera's SDI to do the live feed and also for the slow motion replay, um, Easy Play now supports a dedicated SDI just for the slow motion replay. So that means the SDI output from the camera is uninterrupted. It is not affected, you know, by the uh, by the replay itself. So then you have two SDI to the main broadcaster. So one for the continuous live feed and then the uh, dedicated um, SDI for just for slow motion replay. So this is uh, the requirement and I'm glad that um, with the easy play, um, with any of the Zcam together, this combo, I think this is right now probably the most affordable professional combo that supports um, the dual SDI output um, for slow motion replay. So this is essentially just a small size module that sits on the back of, back of the camera and then a buffer records up to 10 seconds. Yes, because um, what they do is um, you need to hit the button to record um, because we use the so-called P-Roll and uh, there's a, in, in the P-Roll setting you can select between 1 to 10 seconds. Normally you just need to select anything between 3 to 5 seconds. So the P-Roll recording is a continuous recording onto the media card inside this uh, easy play. So for example, when there's a go, then you just hit the button and then the, since you knew that the previous uh, three or to five seconds are captured already on the media card. So this is generally something that's going to be done in an OB truck. Someone's going to see the goal, press the button, and then it'll take the information from here and then they queue it up and play out the replay in slow motion. Correct, correct. So the beauty is that because you knew that, you know, you wouldn't miss it to be, because even after that action, after the goal, you just hit the button and the previous few seconds are captured. So you feel very confident. And then uh, someone on the, uh, in the in the OB truck, I mean, they can use their own uh, control, their their script, or in some cases, you know, they, they have their own dedicated controller to 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 control the playback of that exciting uh, exciting moment. So previously, these sort of systems were were very expensive and made, you know entirely just for broadcasters but now with this sort of system even though it's being used in the Premier League there's no reason why this couldn't be used for much more affordable applications. Yeah there are two reasons for this number one I mean you're right I mean the previously I mean only you know uh, very big expensive you know uh, high-end cameras are capable to do this kind of uh, dedicated um, slow motion uh, live stream. Um, in some cases I understand that you need, even need to use uh, multi-phase uh, SDI uh, to achieve that. Um, in our solution, you know, we have just one SDI. This one SDI, single SDI can already do the slow motion playback. The second thing is, I mean, as you can see this combo, I mean, size wise and weight wise, I mean, this is much smaller and much lighter than the traditional solution. And that is also the reason why this can be deployed, you know, behind the goal because you, you probably wouldn't want to have, you know, a very uh, large and uh, heavy weight uh, set up uh, there for various reasons, including safety. Um, so I think apart from the fact that this is affordable, I mean, this is a very lightweight and very, very handy solution. So in, in terms of what cameras it'll work with, this will work with any of the Zcam range? This, this would work with um, any of the, the Zcam E2 series, the original E2, the, uh, the E2 flagship series, as well as the recent, recently launched uh, E2 Mark II series. So with EasyPlay, this is not a system that needs to be utilised by a giant OB truck. You can use something as simple as this to, con to control and replay slow motion. Yeah, that's correct. Um, I mean, apart from the open API, um, you can actually use uh, some um, controller like, uh, like the Skyquai. They have this um, time spin controller. Uh, there will be a deep integration between the time spin controller from Skyquai with the, the Zcam. Easy play, so it will become a, a very a complete solution. I mean, people can uh, sit somewhere and uh, use the controller to to mark in and mark out, and then start the, the playback, or including the playback speed. Everything will be will be, can be done here. And it's now available. What sort of price are we looking at? Um, the retail price for the Easy Play itself is uh, close to uh, three thousand US dollar.